So you finally found your perfect car to buy. But based on the car, you will be given multiple transmission options. Apart from the most common types that is the manual and automatic, there are still many different variations and some brands also have their own mechanism. While looking at the abbreviations at the end of a car's name might seem confusing, it's really not. So in this video, I'm going to go over the important types of transmissions so you are better equipped to make a decision when buying a car. Let's start with the most traditional type, the manual transmission. It's also called a stick shift. In this case, you, the driver, will be entirely responsible for engaging the clutch and shifting into the correct gear. It's a lot of work, but they're reliable, fuel efficient, and cheaper. If you ask me, it's the best type of transmission because it's more engaging and it's part of the driving experience where you are in full control of the car. Moving on, you have the automatic. Here, the clutch is replaced with something called a torque converter, which will automatically shift gears as the vehicle accelerates and decelerates. It's a more relaxed driving experience and known for being convenient and effortless. As with everything in life, it comes with a price. In this case, it's more expensive, may have a lower fuel efficiency, and if something goes wrong, you are, for a lack of a better word, screwed. Next up is the CVT or a continuously variable transmission. The most boring type of transmission in the perspective of a driver, of course. I'm sure it's pretty complicated to build. A CVT uses a system of belts and pulleys to provide an infinite number of gear ratios, making it the smoothest transmission mentioned in this video. That means it also doesn't need a clutch. The biggest drawback of a CVT is the sensation of lack of power and control over the car. You know how in the highway when you shift down a gear to get that extra torque to overtake someone? Yeah, you're not gonna do that in a CVT. Honorable mention here is Hyundai's IVT, the Intelligent Variable Transmission. I know the names are confusing, but this is a type of CVT, but somehow they've designed it in such a way that it can produce the shift pattern of a manual shift without a clutch. Moving on to something more exciting, the DSG, the Direct Shift Gearbox or the Direct Schalt k 3 Rapidly losing cues after that pronunciation. Anyway, this system has two clutches, one for odd and one for even numbered gears. We don't have to go into the specifics, but what the DSG is known for is its lightning fast gear changes. Another transmission which uses two clutches is the aptly named DCG or the dual clutch transmission. No confusion there. These are a popular choice because it's convenient like an automatic but also has the engaging sensation of a manual. Because of this, it can be found typically in high performance cars. However, these transmissions are highly complex and are very expensive to maintain. Because the DSG and the DCT are a mix of both automatic and manual transmission, they are considered to be a type of AMT, an automated manual transmission for maximum confusion. Hearing these two words in one transmission can be confusing, but look at it this way. There are generally two types of mechanism, one which involves a clutch and one which doesn't. That being said, the clutch might be operated manually or by an electrical unit. In conclusion, there are several types of transmissions available in the market, each with its own advantages and drawbacks. It's important to weigh the pros and cons of each type before making a decision and perhaps even test drive different cars with different transmissions to see which one suits you best. There's nothing like finding the perfect transmission to complement your driving style and make the most out of your car. Hopefully this video helped and if it did, drop a like. If you like auto content then subscribe for more interesting stuff. Thanks for cruising along and I'll see you on the next ride.